Hello, everybody. Welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the great support on this new series as well. If you're enjoying it, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe as well so you don't miss out on more City Skylines in this wonderful map. Today, we are going to start building some infrastructure and... Is that a fire up there? And it, it is. It looks like a fire to me. And setting up some public transportation um, for our citizens. And here we are heading into our city following this little bug. And yeah, we need to set up some buses. We have those available to us. And I'm thinking about using a brand new... Uh, bus terminal. Also, I'd like to continue this this residential area that we've got going up there. I'd like to continue it all the way around into here. We did sort of earmark this for some oil. We may have, I think it was oil or, or yeah, oil because there's some oil under there. We may earmark that still for a small little piece of industry there as well as a bit of farming here and then we'll see what happens to the rest. But first of all, let us get our bus is going. Now, there's this cool terminal, this bus terminal, the non-stop bus terminal. And it looks to me like it's almost like a roll-on, roll-off sort of thing. They go in one side and out the other, possibly. Uh, I'm thinking of putting that here because then the buses can have access. Let's have a look. Where would they go? They have access to all of that. And then they've got to go through that junction for all of here. I may add a, a connection junction here at some point. I think that might be a good idea. But this bus terminal is going to go here. Then we can take a look at it. Oh, that is looking nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the idea is that they go in and come out the other side. Well, that is quite good. Because what we could do if we just take a one-way road like this. Yeah, they go in there like that. And then they come out there. And then join back onto there again. Like that. I think that's the point of that. That is fantastic. A sort of like a terminal area. Now, is that where we want it? I think it's going to stay there. Because this is going to end up being reasonably in the centre for all of this area that we're working on at the moment. There been some other cool comments as well about having little separate... Uh, islands here we've got having little separate communities on the island i think we're going to do that i think there's other islands as well dotted around let's have a look teeny teeny tiny one there can we get somebody to live on that island i guess we'll see when we get to that uh let's whoa, overshoot let's get this guy set up here he's going to need uh, some water pipes and i've also had quite a few comments about the fact uh, that i have been unable to um, grab a few things on the map and apparently when you place things on a map like this and then someone else downloads it and tries to use it you cannot click on these so what I did I think I did this before last episode as I just lowered the land this side here to hopefully get some more electricity coming through um, but we'll have to see we've got the uh, yeah we've got the sewage going in there <laughs> excellent which is going to end up polluting all of this but Hey-ho, we'll just deal with that when we get there. Uh, you're going to need some power as well. Well, we can help you out with a couple of nifty of those, just to get you going for now. And let's set up some bus stops. Oh, we need a bus depot. Of course we do. I'm thinking we're going to go for there and keep all of our bus area in the same place. Why the heck not? There we go. And let's set up some bus stops. There we go. So, we're going to take these one at a time. And this one's going to go around there and come down here. And we'll add some stops in. So, there we go. We'll go by the school. And then we'll bring that all the way up here. And that should then hook into here. It's going to go up that way, back underneath. Why doesn't it just come up here? I don't know. Anyway, that's the way it's going to go. So that's our line. Excellent. It's changed the colour automatically. This one... Yeah, I think before we do that one, we need to add a connection up here. I'm thinking this spot here is about halfway round. And I'm pretty sure if we just add a normal through road like that onto there, it shouldn't cause many issues. Famous last words. Oh, there go the buses. We've got nice... Oh, look at that. Nice red double-decker buses going out on this line. That is cool. And then some normal buses as well. I like that. I like that a lot. Right, this one here. Can I go this way? I can. 
Um, so let's go halfway there. One there, and then we could just literally link it back again. I think that'll be fine. Just bring it all the way back. There we go. That'll do that one, and that'll do for now. So that's covered everything. And then we can sort of check in to see how that's going. Right. I want to extend this road here to come down there. We may even, as we've done before, build off of here. So this little bit might have to just be deleted. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. I know you're enjoying your houses, but it's gone. Cool beans, as I like to say. And then let's just fill in. Look, some of these people are saying they're not going to leave. And these are semi-attached to the street. <laughs> That's not quite how they should be. There we go. Let's fill these in then. And then we speed things up a bit. Yeah, some of these here, I think we're going to leave a gap there. And get them back in around here. It's going to start getting really noisy, I'm sure. Just another connection there. How are we growing? 3,442. Excellent. We want to get to 4,600 to unlock some other stuff. But that's doing all right. How is our farm doing as well? Let's have a quick sip of tea. Lots of crops. Total profit minus 172. Nice. Uh, I'm not going to start doing any of these because they're going to cost me money, aren't they? So let's have a look at what's happening here. 19 out of 20 workers, you're making the crops. Ah, I tell you what, because these are... Let's put these as empty. Yeah, there we go. Sell the stuff. So you've probably been importing things. Oh, that's it. Yeah, there's only the two. You've been importing things. Go and sell them. Now, at the minute, that is such a trek all the way around to the highway. I do actually feel like we need another road onto the highway somewhere. Let's just change this one to bus lanes first. Just thinking ahead with the traffic and all that sort of thing. Uh, oh, we've got ones with trees. Large road decoration with trees, bus lane. Can I fit that in there? There we go. That should be okay. That should be okay. We'll just go with that. Right, I've been looking at these parks as well. They're definitely bereft of trees. We need some trees in here, and I really like these ones. And I'm thinking of having like a little, a few little foresty areas. Maybe something in the middle there, and then something over here as well. I don't want the whole thing filled with trees, but there's quite a few different colours of these ones. Oh, we've got some extra things we can add, add to our park as well, haven't we? Let's just stick a couple in there. There we go, and then we've got a nice red one as well, and this will really pop. And I believe we've got a green one as our final one. So if we just sort of get a few green ones dotted around as well. They haven't quite changed their colour yet. And then we'll think of something to do in the other park. The other, the, the other park, the other side. This one down here. We may put some nice uh, bushes with some nice uh, flowers and all that sort of thing. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Nice tree-lined area. What else can we add to our city park, then, uh, that we've unlocked? We've, we've had those. We've had those. We've got the chess set. So maybe we could just add one of those in. Maybe down here. Let's pop that in the middle. There we go. We have some park piers. Well, we can't use those. And I think that is it so far. Yeah, so let's leave that going in there. We've got a nice little path around it. And then what do we need to get to the next level for that one? We're almost there. Just some more visitors. So we'll leave that running. That is looking nice, isn't it? I like the look of that. I like the look of that. How are people using our buses? Are they enjoying them? Let's have a look at the list up here. So 40 passengers, 107 passengers. Nice. Okay. Um, let's maybe change the colour on this one. Just so we can see. There we go. So the one that's being used the most is the one that goes where all the people are. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, what do we have? More needs for more people. Let's carry on expanding down the end here. There we go. I really want to unlock the high density stuff as well. I just want to... I'm thinking about moving these power cables. Because they're blocking my ability. And then could that... 
connect. Oh yeah, look at that. And then all of that is free for housing. Excellent, that's what I want. I'm going to grab this one here. And we're going to go like this. And get all of that. Woohoo! There we go. Keep it going. Uh, yep, yeah, they're fine for pipes and things. The only thing they won't have all the way down here is access to all the other services that everybody else has got. But we can we can deal with that. And they're going to complain about electricity as well. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's going to be a bit annoying on this map. We're forever... Oh, it's okay. We're forever going to show us in a surplus because of that thing up there. But there's nothing I can do to turn it off, which I would like to do. But hey, never mind. We'll just, we'll just go with the flow. Okay, so industry. We know this counts as industry, so we could increase that a bit more. Still not making any money. Well, that's fine. Let's see if we can increase our little farm area. And I'm just wondering whether... We can have an industry road that goes through the middle here. And then branching off of it some farm roads, like over here, because we've got all this farmland. And we could also have some normal industry farms in there. So if we have this sort of turn into a dirt track, let's say like that. And then we're going to go like this. And then what we can do, as well as having the industry set as a farm over here, the industry area... We can also have a normal district on top of here. There we go. We've got some farm buildings moving in. They are just a little bit starved of electricity. So if we do that, that will take care of those. So generic industry farm buildings along with the industry DLC farm buildings. And some of these are delivering the goods, taking the new goods and all that sort of thing. Excellent. And you're all complaining about the complete lack of electricity. Well, let's up our budget. There we go. I am just going to whack that right up. And we're probably running out of water as well. Yeah, so let's up our budget on the water. Uh, 80%, that'll be fine. That should keep everybody happy. So now we're going to get a nice mix of two sorts of industry. And we can also expand this a little bit as well. So let's dive into our farming industry tab. And we've got crop fields and animal pastures. Let's get some crop fields in here. There we go, something like that. I'm going to need more money to make more. That's just going to give us an absolute ton of wheat. Then we can add another one on the other side. Have this little lane coming up through the middle. I think that'll work well. Have we still got, we've still got a need for more industry. We've got, we've got needs for absolutely everything. This is going really well. Um, can we... Let's have a look. Can we zone... We can have organic and local produce, but we can't have leisure specialization until we hit 7,000. Wow. That is going to take a while. Okay, well, let's just get some more housing in. And I think around the outside here is like the perfect place to get some more housing. Because they've got access to all sorts of things. There we go. Buses and all the services. I'm going to put some more paths in. To encourage walking around here. Let's fill... Oh man, look at that little tiny connecting road. <laughs> that is... It's getting a little bit busy. I mean, I mean, traffic's not backing up, is it? So, maybe that's not too much of a problem. These are complaining about lack of workers. Well, that's fine, because we've got people moving in. Let's just grab our standard little path. And see if we can squeeze a path or two in here like this. There we go. Help people crossing. Nice. Uh, anywhere else? That's fine. What about here to the shops? Oh, there we go. Down the side of your house. That'll be good. Yeah, I think that's alright. And then we'll add a few more houses in around here, opposite the cemetery. Nice. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And this is all going to expand to be farming, I think. There we go. How's our money going? 11,000. It's creeping up. It's creeping up. And we need some shops. I mean, we've got this big area here. We could run a road in here and have a nice little shopping. Let's just put... I'm going to use a zone here. Uh, what am I trying to do? This one here. Let's just add... In there. How about a little market? Myrtle, Myrtle District... Let's just make that cover the houses still. In case we do any other changes. There we go. 
And you there. Excellent. And have this as, yeah, a little market local produce sort of thing. How does that sound? So let's grab... I'm thinking a little country road off of here. Oh, no, let's not start the country roads again. Last time we did that, we know what happened. And then just sort of spread it out like this. Totally random. Like a real sort of market area. There we go. How are you doing for water? Yep, you'll find... Uh, is that all covered? Yeah, that's all covered. And then let's mark this district, this one here, local produce. Uh, what's this one we got here? No commercial specialisation. Yeah, local produce in Myrtle District. And then we've got lower... Um, I just want to have a look, actually. We've got plop, plop the growables here. Um, not that one there. If we do this one here and do growable and then just pick low density commercial uh, level one only is there anything that jumps out as being more sort of farmy type buildings got medieval shops uh, a level three one by one shop hmm oh, i've got all these like medieval shops oh we could have a medieval market town sort of thing going on in here how are they spell in medieval Okay, just checking that they're spelling it the way that everybody else spells it. So there's not that many, actually. Hmm, maybe we could do that. What else have we got? UK corner pub. No, I don't want to go UK stuff. Let's go... Let's go medieval and see what we've got here. Let's start with this first one here. Medieval house. Uh, restaurant in a medieval half-timbered house. Oh, what nice. Oh, yeah, we've got to actually mark this as zones, haven't we? Otherwise, it ain't going to stay. So, I'll tell you what. Let's zone it first. This is how I believe we do it. We're not going to zone that. Then, let's place it. And then, any bits that we don't want, we can uh, unzone. So, let's have that smack bang in the middle there. It's quite tiny, isn't it? What about this one here? Medieval shop. Oh, I like that. Let's put this one up here. Oh, that's nice. Is there a few versions of that? No, that's the same thing. Then we've got Medieval Shop. Yep, yeah, let's have that one up there. And we've got another Medieval Shop. That's a bit bigger, that one. Let's have that one over here. That wants the jump. Let's go there. And we've got another Medieval Shop. That's a bit larger. Can that one fit in there? I think, actually, we're going to end up building it up here and just move these ones. Yeah, let's delete those and move them. Try and concentrate them all in one area. So we'll get the restaurant up here. If we add a little road going down there. There we go. I'm going to get the restaurant over here. There we go. It's going to have its own little area. We can put some parking in there, perhaps. Let's go like that. Just sort of on the corner. Nice, nice, nice. And then what was the other one that we moved? Was it this one? Yes. Let's have that there. Uh, where are we up to? We've done that one. Yeah, well, what's this one here? Just a medieval shop. We'll pop that one there. Maybe that one opposite. And what's this one? Medieval shop. Yeah. And just see how that looks in this little corner. Let's just make sure that's all filled. It's not bad, is it? That is not bad. We could repeat some of those, couldn't we, over here. Let's just leave it like that. Let us grab our surface painter and add some of this gravel in. So let's go a little bit bigger with the brush size. Not that big. Yeah, like that. Just maybe fill a bit of that in. Yeah, I'd like to take some of that away. <laughs> let's see. How can, how can we do that? Let's sort of skip up to the road there. Take out some of that. Mm, we might sort of hide some of that with some trees. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let's pop some of that back in. There we go. And then if we put some trees around that, we can sort of hide that a bit more. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. And then what we're going to do down here is we're going to dezone um, these bits that are quite close. We're going to dezone this. Uh, that's not going to change. Hopefully, nothing else will 
We'll fill in here. Yeah, look, if we do it like that, it won't dezone the bits where we've plopped. Oh, it did on that one. If we leave that, okay. Yeah, it's probably because I clicked in the wrong place. There we go. That's it, that's it. So leave that, leave that. So leave all of those. And then if we want to add any more medieval stuff, we can. And then they shouldn't disappear. And then what we can do is grab, not this one. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's grab some of this. Let's make that a bit smaller. We can sort of fill in maybe around here a bit. I'm actually clicking on a different one. Yeah. I don't know. How's that going to look? And then get some trees around it as well. Oh, there we go. I knew something was going to happen. There we go. You can tell where it's going to upgrade because it pauses the game. Just for a microsecond. Yeah, we're going to do this. It's almost like it's closed in with bushes, isn't it? Let's just go with it and see what we end up with. Yeah, people are coming down already. Happy to shop here. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. If I could find some other... I'll look for some other props and things we can use in there. I want a great big tree. A massive tree. Let's see what we can find. That is not a massive tree. That is quite a nice tree, actually. Let's have one of those there. Big tree. I know there's my favourite tree. That all leafy fall. These are... No, not that big. Ah, oh, beech tree. Yes. Let's get some of those in. There we go. In amongst this. Let's actually put a few around there. There we go. And then we've got the new industry stuff coming in down there. Let's get one in there, one in there. Yeah, I feel like I need some market stalls or something. Let's leave a bit of space for that. And then we'll put a few beech trees around the back. Maybe fill in this space here. There we go. We might continue with some other trees over there. How's that looking? Oh, that is not bad, is it? I'm liking that. And they're sort of tucked in amongst the trees. Oh, that is nice. And let's just see if we've got any, like, market stuff. Um, so let's remove that. Market. Uh, if we undo that one, is it going to show all of them? Oh, there we go. Market level one. Oh, no. Okay, what about a stall? Nope. Medieval Agria. What the heck's that? Is that like a mar... I think that's what we're looking for. Like a medieval... Oh, no! Things are catching fire. Like a medieval market stall, which would actually go right in the middle there. So, let's move it mod that. Up a bit to there. And see if we can squeeze that into here. No, let's move it mod this to somewhere else. Let's just put that over there. <laughs> You're banned. And then pop that there. And what is that? Is that a industry type building? So we need to just make sure that's marked as industry. There we go, like that, so it doesn't disappear. And then if we move it mod... Um, yeah, can't move that. Keep the game paused. Let's put snapping on. And we could like pop that over here. Yeah, that'd be fine. And then just make sure that that's marked with this. Oh, is he not going to let me do it? Okay, let's do it like this way then. Let's just go over the top. That should be fine. Probably just needs to move back a touch. Yep, into the trees. Is that facing even the right way? No. <laughs> yeah, I thought something was wrong there. Let's turn that around. Zippity doo da. There we go. Get it facing the right way. Excellent. And then we can barge that up to here. That's more like it. And then we can just sort of maybe move that tree back. There we go. Turn snapping off now. Make sure that that's. Yep. That should be fine. Nice. So this is an industry building, but it's fruits for all. Excellent. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I think that looks really nice. And then we've got 
the other local produce, like the new local produce stuff popping up. Healthy weeds all over the place. Oh my goodness me. Seriously, can't they do anything else? <laughs> and then we could probably just do with finishing that off with some trees. Well, apart from the fire that we've got there, I quite like this little old medieval market that we've got in the middle here. I think that looks quite nice. What's going on here? Oh, there's loads of smoke coming out of that thing. Look at that. Somewhere to bring the kids, come and visit, pick up some healthy weeds on the way out. Don't get caught in a fire. I think that looks really nice. Is that a brand new building that's popped in there somehow? The Power Big Prince. What has happened there? Oh, the building disappeared. No. You can't do that. That is not what we had in there. Okay, let's put our market stall back in. There we go. And can we mark that as a historical building? So it doesn't upgrade. That's what we should have done, I think. There we go. Excellent. It's back again. Nice. So I'm still taking ideas for the name for our city. So let me know in the comments below. I've recorded ahead one or two episodes just to give me a chance to catch my breath this week. So I will get to the names uh, that you've all suggested very soon. But thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to hit the big B with a tea stain and check out the next video on the list as well. And we'll be back with some more City Skylines the day after tomorrow. We're alternating there with the Astroneer. And I'll see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. You've upgraded as well, haven't you, you cheeky so-and-so? <laughs>